Hey, everybody. Phil from No Code Ops here, of course, joined by, first of all, my co-star, Izzy, who's very excited for this one because Izzy's a big Airtable fan. Um, and uh, I'm joined by Maryam from Softer. Uh, she's the founder of Softer. Uh, welcome to No Code Ops. <laughs> hey, Philippe. Thanks a lot for the invite. You're really glad to be here with her as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. G great to have you here. And uh, and also, congrats on your recent round of funding. Super excited. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a huge win, I know, for your company, but also for the no-code space in general. So very, very exciting. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Miriam, uh, uh, can you tell us, um, uh, like, for softer, what would be an ideal situation that an ideal user would be in uh, to come to an aha moment in your product? Would love to learn more. Yes, of course, sure. So uh, mostly, mostly uh, the people that would really benefit from software are the ones who who are not technical, who are not really tech savvy enough to use really complex tools. And those people, however, want to build something either within their companies or they have some ideas, they want to build startup or they want to build their side projects. So um, they would ideally, they usually have some kind of data somewhere, stored somewhere. Let's mm -hmm. say if it's someone within the organization, they, let's say as an example, someone has the list of jobs and they want to have these jobs presented to the broader audience outside the company for candidates to apply for. And then they have all of this information either in yeah, uh, um, either in Google Sheets or uh, Airtable. So ideally, in our case, that should be the Airtable. And then they are just looking for ways to visualize that and really present to the broader audience. And that for that case, it's really perfect because what software does is basically it's a knockout tool that allows people without any tech background to build websites and web apps really quickly mapping Airtable data as a, using Airtable as a CMS and then mapping that to the different types of front ends, which are also customizable. Got it. Got it. So, so what I'm hearing, by the way, is two trends. One, and I can't believe that they're true, is one that startups store a lot of data in Airtable and Google Sheets. What? And also they get asked to build external facing web pages on the fly. What? <laughs> You're telling me those yes. things are true? <laughs> exactly. And it's not only startups. What I'm seeing, what we see increasingly even more, especially during these corona times, there are so many companies moving their data from just Excel, Google Sheets, back to Airtable, just yeah. because it's much, much easier for lots of people within the company to use those. So yeah, we see that more and more coming up. And of course, people, most of the people do not like just doing things manually and do not want to mingle around with databases, right? Yep. Uh, instead, instead, it's much much easier to have something visual and interact with a with a visual application, and that's what we want to enable them. I love it. So yeah, I'd love to dive into the product. And can you show us an example of someone who's just like what it would look like for someone who is starting with this Airtable base um, that is being asked to create an external facing job board? Yeah, of course. So actually, as an example, I just just. Two days ago, I created a job board for software, just on software. It, yeah, it's just <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. It just took 10 minutes for me. And yeah, uh, I'm going to show also something really quick, Great. similar to that. Uh, let me share my screen. And while the screen is coming up, uh, our unofficial sponsor for both doing demos and being a parent, Rise uh, Nitro <laughs> Cold Brew Coffee. <laughs> Shout out to Rise. <laughs> so can you see my screen? Yes, I love it. Yeah, Great. awesome. Okay, so this is the software application. Very quickly, I'm going to do it really quick. Uh, you have gave me five minutes, right? <laughs> I'll try to do it in less time. We try to do so, a slim down version of a demo possible. Exactly. <laughs> so let's assume I have already created. So basically what software does is we have, you can create as many pages as you like. We have the notion of building blocks. So you construct your page like a Lego. We give you the Lego bricks and then you construct your page entirely based on these blocks. So we have different Legos like hero section, feature, like CTA, anything that comes to your mind related to a website. And for dynamic websites, we also have lists, list details, and user accounts to have authentication in front of your uh, job board or, the, or whatever that is. So quick question so, on that yes. front. Mm -hmm. We can go a little bit longer if I was totally fine. But <laughs> uh, with the user authentication, so are you telling me that, let's say I have like an Airtable base with some information in it, right? 
um, uh, and I hook it up to Softer, uh, are you saying that I can have user accounts like privately accessing that data dynamically who uh, like they don't necessarily have Airtable licenses? Like yes, exactly. Wow. So you can have as many clients outside or within companies accessing the data on Airtable. Depending on who is logging in, you can show different data. And also, there. so basically, it, it allows conditional visibility. And that can be defined by page level. So people can access specific pages or specific parts of the page, depending whether they are logged in or depending on, on the paid status. So let's say, as an example, if someone is building something like paid courses, yeah. Uh, and they, depending on who has paid for a specific course, they would have access to only that specific course. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Okay, cool. Let me just quickly then, let's say this is the kind of first part of the page. And now I want to list all the jobs that I have already in my Airtable. So here we offer different layouts for listing. I'm going to choose one which fits best for job board. So here it's a skeleton. It's the skeleton. So right now, what I need to do is I need to just copy the Airtable API key. So that's this is being improved, so it's uh, much easier. But right now, what we need to do is let's say I have my job board here listed, all the jobs from different companies, and now I just need to go to the API documentation. Airtable the URL. Not make this as easy as I feel like it should be. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just copy the URL, um, put it here. And then that populates all the fields. Basically, it brings all the data from Airtable to here. So now what I just need to do is just map all of the fields. And then based on uh, categories, just uh, map different filters. So let's say here in my job board, I have, um, let's say, type of contract, um, full-time, internship, part-time. I want to use that as a filter. Oh, wow. OK. Um, Yeah, type of contract. Now okay. here I'm going to separate the different options. OK. And now it's creating like those bubbles on top for people to easily sort. Exactly. Do you support multiple levels of tagging at this point or just one level? Yes. Yeah, here it's here that is uh, it also supports multiple multi right. select if that's what I, I understood correctly, right? Yep. Yeah, so uh, also I could decide where I want to position oh, the thing. So let's just put it on top right now. Um, and I want to also make this look nicer. <laughs> so let's style it as uh, the chop bar. So here I see all the last used colors. I can just quickly check that. And so here in this section, um, I can also say I don't want to have a search bar, but let's leave it for now because it's very handy. And here I'm going to map as an image. I'm going to show the logo as a title, oh maybe the position. God. This is great. So you see it, it immediately updates here on the left side. And then as a subtitle, the company name that is here, mapped here. And now as a tag, again, want to show this type of contrast. So it's listed here. So we see as a result what it shows up. Um, and then I can define. I'm going to be creating, by the way, the no code ops job board with this one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, now I have to define what happens when I click on a sp specific job uh, item. What happens? Yeah. I can define that it opens another page or opens external URL. So let's say for now it just expands and shows the data below. And when it expands, I'm going to show the description of the job. Okay. And then here on this button, I'm going to just give the link to the specific company page so they can, the candidates can apply. And then I'm going to say, open the career page. Oh, wow. Okay. And let's also style this nicely. So the buttons, I want them to look similar to the others. And yeah, I'm just going to say, Say this one, which was the last one, and the text should be dark. Okay, and let me also just style this element, this list item, really nicely. That matches the overall design. 
basically from a des design wise pers design perspective everything can get can be customizable so all the like backgrounds colors uh, selected state so for example for this uh, okay let's leave it for now uh, these filters as well are customizable or i can just change that to look nicer totally got it and not hey oh yay hover colors <laughs> yeah, yeah I, you can define that as well let's not have it as rounded but similar to the button so let's see um, i'm not the best designer <laughs> but uh, you get the idea yep. okay cool so now let's preview oh wow the cool you're thing is that person. here yeah. so you're different right now i have my job board already up and running i can click see all the details apply for a specific job and then i can filter by full-time jobs for example you see, it shows only right. the full-time ones. And I can also search for um, specific, um, yeah, role by name. Um, that also brings the result. Like on mobile? In the yes, mobile so that's a cool thing as well. Everything that is built on software is automatically responsive. It looks good on tablet and also mobile. So if I scroll, I'm gonna, yeah, I can see all the details and it just looks nice out of the box. You don't have to to do anything for that. And and yeah, I can publish and I have my job board up and running. And um, as a result, so this is a template I, we have just as a result as well. So right now what I could do as well on the template, we already have this added. Now I'm uh, yeah I'm hacking because you didn't allow more than five minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna show the ready, ready version. So on this ready template, you can also add a new job. So you can add just the company name, logo, all of the same information. Submit it directly goes to Airtable. Is that exactly. an Airtable form? Got it. No, no, this is a custom oh. form. Oh, you this is a custom also... form on software. Exactly, exactly. This is a custom form on software. You can have as many with your own style. Of course, you can have Airtable, Airtable form as well, but that doesn't look that nice as the, this one. I know, I know. So yeah, when you submit the data, it goes back to Airtable directly. It adds up here as a new row. And then that automatically shows up once I come to the first page and then I see here immediately added. Of course, you as a user can also restrict the access and show here only the approved jobs, or yep. you could also decide to put authentication on top and then allow only the logged in users to see this, these jobs or to apply for specific jobs. That's so already something yeah, you like can only available for like managers or something. Exactly. Like that. You can define who wants, who sees the, what page basically. Very cool. And then what I, so basically if I understand this right, so basically what you would do is like, so you would have two, two I can always forget what Airtable calls them, but let's just call them like two different sheets or I guess views actually views. You'd have two different views in your basis. One is like everything coming in from that, you know, button when, you know, people submit at a job, but then the other view, you know, would only be the approved ones and exactly. change it manually to approved and then it would then show up automatically in, on the software. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You could have a column here called approved and then yeah. you create a view and show only that. But one thing that is coming soon as well on software is basically uh, custom filtering. So once you have this type of list, you can also say inside software, you can have, let's say five different lists in one page and one list can be filtered by product role. The other one can be filtered by, by anything you like really, by uh, custom, fields from Airtable, coming from Airtable. I love it. Well, this was this was awesome. Um, uh, I love how fast you can make a change uh, and update things. I love that you can have different, um, like different users having different views without necessarily getting into your Airtable. Um, I think one of the, the, the most, you know, I think we're in this level of no code now that we're getting to where it was really good for the architects to build but it wasn't so great for the lay users to interact. And right. now it's becoming easier and easier to bridge that gap, which I think will promote wider adoption. So I'm exactly. super excited for the future of software. Um, thank you so much for joining us. At thank April. you. Thank you. Else, I mean, me, Izzy, and the whole no code operations <laughs> community, wherever they are in the world. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Yeah, and stay tuned. There are more, lots of interesting things coming up on software, uh, some more complex and powerful functionality, which we are releasing end of this month. So yeah, stay tuned. Lots of other things and use cases will come up soon. Can't wait. Go team. Well, I will talk to you soon. Thanks everyone for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all the things that I guess people on YouTube are supposed to do. <laughs>
Um, yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye.